Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I am home. Kara done dropped them books in the middle of the floor and kept it moving. I got to get my life together right now. You know how it is when you come home from vacation, you got to unpack and get the kitchen. Everything goes in the kitchen, right? On the counter. And you got to work from there. So that's what I'm doing. Unpacking all the stuff that y'all saw me pack. Um... The ice pack girl, Sydney sprained her ankle. We were at the urgent care the second day of vacation. Oh my goodness. But thank you guys all who reached out. She is doing better. She still has a little swelling, but she is doing better. She had that boot on all week, still wearing the boot. Um, but she still had a good time. Y'all hear Kara in the back? She still had a good time. Girl dropping stuff out the refrigerator. I'm chasing it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I got a little unpacking to do, put some things away. I need to um, wash up some towels and things, I feel like. And yeah, Sydney's standing over there. She always watching me do stuff, right? <laughs> she need to help. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice. Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect It's so hard to decide Oh, I know He got me good in his pocket I know that I missed a treat So some things came back home with us Some blueberry pancake mix, some syrup I never even opened them So I didn't want to leave them there Girl, my spatula for some reason, that place never has a spatula. And ever since the one time that I went to flip pancakes and I ain't had nothing to flip them with, girl, <laughs> oh my goodness, that was a whole mess. So yeah, um, anything I could bring back, I did. So I'm going to throw these things in the pantry. I opened this door. I almost had an anxiety attack. You see me throw my hands up? It's messy in here. I'm putting things on the floor. Let me know in the comments if you, because I'm going to get in here. If you want to see the pantry kind of refresh going on with school starting on Monday, things are going to change with the snacks and things like that. So let me know. So you know the Keurig, the air fryer, and my egg cooker came with me. I stored the egg cooker inside of the air fryer during transportation. Genius. Because it was so tiny. I love this thing so much. It makes boiled eggs perfect. I don't know where my life was before I got this thing. Grabbed it off of Amazon. I'm going to leave it in the description box. <laughs> I love it so much. But I need to um, make some coffee, girl. I brought some tea while I was down there, so I'm just putting that all away. I, <laughs> I turned the tea packets around, like top, bottom, top, bottom, so that they will fit in the holder better and evenly. So that's what you saw me doing. So the counter is starting to look a little better, grabbing my little bags from the DT. The placemats that I brought for down there, I brought them back with me. Just getting some of this mail off the table, a week's worth of mail, you know what I'm saying? So I was going through that, got my shades, so it's starting to look like home again. So I'm emptying out the insulated bag, which kept very good 
Our travel time on the road is about seven hours. That big old freezer block, freezer block, <laughs> the big ice block, there it is, that I put in there. It was perfect. I bought one of Kara's pizza bag, um, some sausage, you know, just some things. So just putting everything away. I'm so glad that I took that bigger bag. And then I have a bag of waters, I feel like. Girl, you see me toss the hands up. Him and this daggone soda. Oh, I can't stand it. But my ketchup and barbecue sauce was in there. Though. <laughs> yes, here come Kara. She need to get that bag off the floor. You see me? Can you get the bag off the floor? Thank you. Take that upstairs. You know what I mean? Take it to your space. Get it out of my space. <laughs> Y'all know how I get, girl. Let me turn these lights out and get this stuff up these steps. Start unpacking. Y'all, we haven't been home that long. You see Kara's room already. She's just happy to be in her space. Look at her. But in the hallway, I got the bags right, the suitcases. So I'm going to unpack. Hubby's going to do ours. I'm going to do the girls. Um, but I need my flip-flops. <laughs> I need my black flip-flops out of here. And I wanted to pull out the stuff and show you that Christmas shop that I went to. I was showing pictures on Instagram. Girl, I go here every single year to Williamsburg, right? I have never been in this store. I've always wanted to go. I pass it all the time. They had the cutest. Look at this ornament. Girl, I know we're not ready for Christmas, but I had to show you how stinking cute is that. Look at this, the darn Philly cheese steak. Are you serious? Yes. And then they had the wine bottle going on, had to grab that. You know what I mean? To go with the glass. So I'm feeling like I'm going to do a tree in my space. Look at the barrel with Santa. This year, I'm going to do the tree in my space about me. Last year, it was like black and white. I think I'm going to do it all about me. Look at that. Y'all, these are so cute. I had to get out of the store. Like, it was it was so overwhelming. And then I grabbed, I let Sydney pick out one, and she picked out the keyboard. So how stinking cute is that, y'all? So, yes, wanted to share that with you real quick, but I need to toss some things in this washer, which I don't know how I missed this. Probably not really paying attention before I left, but let me get to this wash. I had to come back and stop it. I forgot I grabbed these new cleaning towels and they're cleaning towels. So I don't know why I threw them in the wash first, but girl, that's what I did. I guess because I'm so used to doing that with everything like sheets and everything brand new in the wash first, right? So that was my mindset with that. But I'm gonna switch them over. They're done, throw them in the dryer and then I'm gonna make my way back upstairs. So back up here in Kara's room, going to unpack their things, put those away. I don't know if I told you, I usually do the wash before I come home. Our last couple days is very relaxed. So I usually just throw the clothes in, fold them up nice, right, for packing. And then when I get home, boom, right in the drawer. Like I never took them out. <laughs> it's just easier for me. It's less stress for me. I don't want to do a whole lot of laundry and everything when I come home from vacation. I want to save a little bit of it. You know what I mean? So um, the only thing I had to do was those towels, which I forgot about. And that was my fault. But girl, yes, everything is clean. <laughs> I 
I grabbed these new diffusers from Amazon. Aren't they so super cute? I specifically got these because Kara really loves greenery. So um, I thought this one was really nice. It has the different lights to it. And I do use the essential oils with the girls. Um, it's my thing. It's my personal thing. Um, it could be in my head, but you know, with the autism, I just feel like it has a calming effect and Kara's very anxious. Sydney gets a little anxious sometimes. I'm playing with this thing, trying to figure out the lights and everything. So I was like, all right, I'm good. Let me disconnect it and throw some water in it. Right. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I put it back on. Like I knew I didn't put the oil in there yet, but I didn't want to be messing with it, spill it, the oil spill and all of this. So I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to make sure all was situated before um, I threw the oil in. So I'm messing with the lights and everything. But yeah, I do use it. Um, I know the effect it has on me. And um, I always want my girls to be calm. You know what I mean? So whatever, whatever I can do to help that. We just gotta try. I use sort of a good night oil in a diffuser. These are the ones that came with it. But I went in Sydney's room to help her. That girl put the clothes away, the bag away, done. I love it. So I'm back down here in the laundry room, getting these towels and everything. Going to fold those up. Take it down, girl. I am exhausted. I've been nonstop from that seven hour on the road, walking in the door and doing all of this. So... I'ma go. Make sure you go check out all the fall videos I've been putting up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, you guys. And I'll see you in the Dollar Tree. Bye.